talk about Looney Tunes back in action. This is for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. It's distributed by Electronic Arts. Now, what'd you think of this one? Boy, I said, boy, this game is about as dull as a bowling ball. Well, it's not quite that dull. No, I'm just kidding. But it's approaching that level of dullness. Share this imitation. All right. Suffering suck a Oh, that's nice, yeah. That's, that's some good work. The character voices are absolutely phenomenal in this game. I mean, they really spent the time and energy and creative forces into really injecting the Warner Brothers characters into this experience, and I, I thought that was really well done. I, I commend them for that. They have the granny that, you know, she wants you to find Tweety, and then Sylvester's chasing Tweety, and a lot of cool, cool like, all the characters. I, I like Elmer Fudd and the Tasmanian Devil. They didn't just, you know, slap a license on a 3D game and throw it out well, there. I wouldn't go that far. I think there's a lot of problems with the gameplay, but I did really like the sense of humor. And the good news is that the characters are there. They're voiced by a lot of the same actors that you'd find in the in the cartoons. Got some really funny quips. They kind of make fun of themselves being in a video game. Yeah, I like that. Welcome to the world famous Louva Museum. The what for? The Louva. You can play as either Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck. With Bugs, you can double jump and you can uh, uh, hit everything with a hammer. And you can also burrow underneath the ground. That's, burrow in the ground. That's a great. cool effect. I yeah. like that. And then Daffy Duck, you can sort of hover jump for a little bit. He flaps his wings like crazy. Yeah, and he has a frying pan that he hits everybody with. It's kind of like a cooperative, like one player experience in that, you know, you can play Bugs and you hit a button and then you bring in Daffy, and then you can, Daffy can help do stuff, and sometimes you need to have two characters on screen. The goal is to, well, part of the goal is to collect spinning coins yes. and break wooden crates. That's the theme. Have we not we've, progressed? We've never done anything like that before, have we? In video games, never. Nah. There's a ton of little hidden extras that you can unlock, like actual clips from cartoons and trailers. There's the, the whole movie trailer, because this is all you know, loosely based off of the uh, well, back in action not at all, feature actually. film. Yeah, there's no Brendan there's, Fraser. There's no, there's there's no, no. Or Jenna Elfman or Steve Martin. I found that there was tons of problems though with the camera. I mean, well, that's the worst part of the game. Every time you, you basically get off the ground, you're asking for trouble because the camera just freaks out and like hides behind a tree or just like tries to get away from your character any chance it can get. Overall, it, it's definitely above average. You well, know? you know, I had problems with Daffy's control. I mean, we, we spent a long time just trying to find, the, you know, land on a ledge. But you're right, it still has some fun in it. And, you know, I know that it's Looney a little Tunes, different. I know, well, it's different. It's the same, but with different characters. What? It's just like every other platform action thing. Oh, well, Always how many other secure. platform games you got Speedy Gonzales to? Yeah, he was cool. Yippee, yippee, Andre, Andre, Riva, Riva, Effa! You know, no, I you don't know. get that in Tomb Raider. No, you don't. I do not get that and in Tomb maybe Raider. Maybe that's what Tomb Raider's missing. So what are you going to give Looney Tunes back in action? I'm giving it a 7. I thought it was pretty entertaining. I thought it was better than average, 5.5 .5 out of 10. On the positive side, it's really cool to see all the Looney Tunes characters used so well in a game. Good to see him back in action. <laughs> And the humor and voices in the game are extremely well done. On the negative side, this game has serious camera control problems. We had some difficulty making jumps with Daffy Duck. And even though the voice quips are great, they do get a bit repetitive. Bonus! Hey, I'm out here at Piccadilly Circus, and I'm having a loony time with Looney Tunes back in action. This one's from Electronic Arts for the Game Boy Advance. And I got to say, I'm a little disappointed. This is just not as much fun as I thought it would be. I like the uh, console versions of this game, but for the Game Boy Advance, it, everything feels a little bit cheap. You can play as Bugs or Daffy, and you run into all of the Looney Tunes characters that you would want to see. You, basically what you're doing, same thing as in the console, you're after the Blue Monkey Diamond, but you have to catch all of these Warner Brothers executives that have been turned into monkeys, which is kind of funny. My real problem with the game is that the controls are crap. You never really get a sense of taking ownership of these characters because you don't know where you're supposed to be heading and you can't point your guy in the right direction. It's almost like they made a Pac-Man style maze game with eight direction control. So you're constantly pivoting your character around and it's just way too confusing. It's just too bad. I'm a big fan of the Looney Tunes characters and I liked what EA did with them on the consoles. But on the Game Boy Advance, this is pretty boring. Pretty mediocre, 4.5 out of 10.